Let me start with uh, with you, uh, uh, Shahid, if I may, uh, to basically answer uh, the question of whether there's a Swadeshi push uh, to these vaccines, not in itself a bad thing, uh, but the fact that the Bharat Biotech vaccine received what was called clinical trial mode approval without the phase three trials data being out or released. Uh, what did you think of that? Let me just uh, give me a second, sir. Yeah. Let me unmute you. Go ahead. Yeah. Yes, Barkha, two things. Um, one is that uh, Serum Institute is also an Indian company. Uh, it it hasn't landed up from Mars. Uh, yeah. The, the, the second point is that uh, this whole episode uh, is uh, really a classic example of what should not be done and what should not be said. Complete communication failure, uh, three different people saying three different things. Uh, so I see this more as a communications failure than anything else. To be fair to uh, Bharat Biotech, even the Serum Institute vaccine, the phase three trial results are not public. I, we don't know what they have shown the, the regulator. Uh, so to say uh, that, you know, I am better than you, uh, I, I think it's a little low. It should not have been done. But I, I really feel that the most important responsibility lies with the regulator who left a language which nobody understood. Uh, people who work in the space didn't understand, and certainly the man on the, on the street uh, didn't understand it. So I really see this more as a communication failure than anything else. Could you elaborate on what you just said? Uh, you okay. basically said, yeah, you, you said communication failure, I think we all agree. You said it's an example of what should be said and what should not be said, we all agree. But you also pointed right. out that, that the phase three data of the Serum Institute manufactured Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine is not known as well. Uh, can you elaborate on that? Because I don't think most people well, know I, that. What I, if, that's the case, if that's the case, then why has the focus been entirely on, on, on Bharat Biotech? Well, what I said is that the Serum Institute's trial in India, that efficacy data, you know how efficacious that vaccine is? I don't. All the efficacy data is based on trials that have been done in UK and Brazil. Uh, so I don't know what their data shows in India. Uh, it's not in the public domain. Uh, I don't know what it is. Uh, and as far as the communications aspect goes, I will point out four things that were said in the communication by the DCGI. Yeah. First thing, first thing was said that this vaccine is being approved in public interest. Mm -hmm. So was Covishield not approved in public interest? Point number two, this is being approved in clinical trial mode. And they didn't say anything beyond that. Well, from clinical trial, I think most of us understand that, uh, half the people will receive a salt solution and the other half will receive a vaccine. Every clinical trial also has an inclusion and exclusion criteria. Right. The published exclusion criteria for Covaxin uh, were that uh, anyone who has prior COVID infection will not be given this vaccine. Anyone who has HIV, hepatitis B, hepatitis C will not be given. So if you're going to be giving it in clinical trial mode, are you going to first test people for all these ailments before you will roll out the vaccine? Complete black box. We don't know. Point number three, this vaccine will also work on the mutant. Just two days earlier, the government was saying that Covishield will also work on the mutant. So suddenly they're saying we are approving it because this will work on the mutant. Point number four, this will be a backup vaccine. Now, what is a backup vaccine? Mm -hmm. A vaccine is a vaccine. Why, yeah. why this backup? Uh, so, you know, this is what confused everyone, uh, including people like us who know a little bit about this. Uh, imagine what happened to people on, on the street when they hear all this. 